17 years um, with like seven years spent off in between because I didn't want to go to prison. I started sketching um, like graffiti when I was like 15, I think. And I saw a piece in my hometown and um, said AFP. I remember it pretty clearly. I didn't pick up a can until I was uh, nearly 18. And then, and then started painting and um, sort of early 2000s, painted it a lot. Uh, mainly trains. Through graffiti, got into graphic design, and sort of the cycle continued. And graphic design led me back to graffiti and and illustrating and love of typography. So I've somehow managed to uh, be in a band that's become fairly successful.
my whole life has become uh, different, different sort of creative outlets. So I've got music, I've got photography, I've got um, graffiti, I've got illustration, and all these things sort of, um, sort of together help me to keep the passion alive for each each one because I can never really get sick of one. I think it's just all accumulation of, of who I am creatively. There's an exploratory nature of graffiti where you need to learn more, you need to know more, you want to see things that that no one else sees, you know, like going into an abandoned factory is not up on anyone's list of things to do, but it's it's very high up on a graffiti writer's list of things to do, and it's it's that sense of adventure that that I think uh, helps graffiti writers to 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 learn and to be so thirsty for knowledge on everything. Traveling the world has really opened up my eyes and and helped me to get a better on understanding of how things work because ignorance is you know is our biggest enemy I like to observe as much as I can and you know whether that be staring out the window at, you know, but it's, it's, sometimes it's just stupid shit it's like the shape of a vehicle will fuel something in me and it's, you know then it's like the way the lines blur as you pass and all these things sort of come together subconsciously in the end and, and help you creatively, I think. So there's merit in being able to control a spray that's coming out really hard and fast because you're able to do a lot of work really fast and that really counts for a lot when you're worried about the cops and stuff. in your ear but you can't forget from sundown to sunset nah, nah. it's all in the air you hear it everywhere no matter what you do it's gonna grab a hold on you california soul california soul Earlier graffiti, I was fortunate to have guys that, while I was coming up, that were really uh, focused on, on knowing all the traditional, his, you know, the history of graffiti and where it came from and they weren't, you know, they were, they were very educated on it and mindful of it and respectful of the, the history and the culture that graffiti has and so all my early influences were from were from the 70s and 80s, like Duster and Scene, um, Scheme, like all the all the sort of bigger writers from from Subway Art, and you know I still remember like copying Kel sketches and just you know just trying to emulate the New York style that I was looking at in the in the book, and but a big the, the big influence for getting into more uh, type, type work was actually um, Mike Giant. Uh, he was a huge influence on me getting into typography and I, you know sometimes you can still see that shining through but I like to think that since I started copying his, uh, <laughs> his words years ago that, that that sort of you know that I've moved on rather from that influence um, and the same with my graffiti I feel like I'm just now starting to starting to do my own thing
You know, the idea for this spot actually came from Ryan. He showed me this abandoned clay factory, I think it was, in Cornwall, and like, what the fuck, man? Like, no one, no normal person is ever gonna just stumble across that and get to experience the, you know, the atmosphere of this place and look at, you know, there's vines hanging from the roof and they, they look beautiful and it looks like shit from the outside but once you go inside and you look around there's just, I don't know it's just amazing textures and light and and all that comes together really really beautifully um, the words I painted uh, from a poet R.M. Drake who I'd never heard of until my wife started like screenshotting his words and sending them to me these nice little sweet things and and I go away a lot and so I, I just wanted to paint something for her on a sort of larger scale because I've never done that before and I thought it would be a really nice gesture and she appreciated it and it was very nice. You know, I've always said that if you are in a position where people will listen to you, then it's important that you say something that matters. And I think that goes for anyone in any field. In the days of 39 Oh please leave the vendana open For Dico Locker Dead and gone Bullet holes in the cemetery walls The black car of the Johnny of the beer Spanish bombs on the Costa Rica I'm flying in on the DC 10 tonight Spanish bombs You got the Kiro Infinito Just the Quena Oh my God, I thought